If you're thinking about moving to Cypress, Texas, we have found the most affordable master planned community with some amazing amenities that actually just opened up last month. And this is in a very desirable location and zoned to A rated schools. And they actually have homes starting as low as $299,000. There's over 10 different home builders out here. We're gonna start at the lowest price and we're gonna work our way up. And towards the end of this video, we're actually checking out a floor plan that I haven't seen anywhere else in Houston. You're gonna absolutely love it. But before that, let's go check out our first house. So the first builder that we're gonna be checking out is Chesmar Homes. And we've shown you Chesmar in some of our other videos, but here in Marvita, they're building two different products. They're building some smaller 30 foot patio homes that start around 16, 1700 square feet. And then they're gonna be building a 45 foot product, which just means that it's a 45 foot wide lot with 35 foot wide homes on them. And so we're inside of their model home. And this home that we're in is just under 2000 square feet and would come in just above $300,000. And this home has some really nice features. It's really well appointed. And what I like about it is even though it's a skinnier product, they really maximize the width of the house here in this open area. And so the front door actually kind of comes in from the side of the house and so it opens up and you've got this really big open concept living area. I'm not gonna lie, they staged this home really well. And some of the other homes we're gonna show you later are staged really well. But this is a nice open kitchen. It really doesn't feel like it's a smaller than 2000 square foot home, but it is. This home comes as a three bedroom, but they have this one optioned out as a two bedroom with an office, which would really be great for anybody looking to downsize that doesn't need a bunch of bedrooms that wants that extra kind of workspace. But you're gonna notice you've got nice finishes in here for just around $300,000. You've got quartz countertops, you've got the modern black cabinets, um, they've got the slide in stainless appliances. Then you've got your kind of dining area over here flow seamlessly into this living room space. But if you come towards the back of the house, this is what I thought was cool about this home. So in some floor plans, you could use this as a bedroom, but they have it set up as an office. And I personally kind of like the office off of the back of the home. So you're going to have a nice view out your back windows to your backyard. So it's a little bit more private. You're not going to be seeing people walking by in the streets if you're trying to get any of your work done. And then right back this way is going to be the primary suite. So as we come in here, they did really cool shiplap that doesn't come like this. Their designers decided to do this, um, but it's a pretty good size room for, you know, being a, on the smaller side of things as far as the house is concerned. You got plenty of room for a king size bed, uh, really a lot of space. You don't feel crammed in here. And then the bathroom, I love that they did this. One of my favorite features is that it actually connects all the way over to the laundry room. And so even though it's a smaller home, it doesn't cut corners in the areas that matter. And this bathroom, you can feel it. You've got your dual vanities, You've got your huge tub, full walk-in shower, you got your little toilet area, and then this closet is massive. So even though it's a galley closet, plenty of hanging space. I mean, this closet's got just as much space as, as some, you know, four or five, six hundred thousand dollar homes that we've checked out. And then I love what they did in here. They optioned for the upgrade folding counter. You got hanging space up here, and then plenty of room for your washer and dryer. Now, if you come up this way, this I'll just show you in here. This typically would be their garage but they're also doubling it as a design center. And so when you do build with Chesmar, you're gonna have the opportunity to come pick your flooring, your cabinets, your backsplash. Over here, they actually have your carpet and then your brick, your exterior as well, which is really cool. And there's actually one other bedroom that we haven't shown you yet up at the front of the home. You've got your half bath right over here, which is right off of the main living area, which is uh, actually, I guess it's a full bath because it doubles for this bedroom. You got your closet, and then they've got this one set up as a nursery, but you know, if you're downsizing, this could be a guest room or room for the kids too. So Chesmar is going to be a really well-known builder. They build a really great product and they've got some really good incentives going on right now. Now the incentives with builders are always subject to change, but when we're filming this, interest rates are in the seven to eights. And so they're actually buying interest rates down all the way to 5% for the first year and 6% for the next 29 years. So they're doing that. They're also slashing prices quite a bit. And so homes that we're seeing priced at 350 are getting cut down to $325,000. So depending on when you're watching this video, um, the deals might have changed, but the good news is, is if you're watching this and it just aired, there are some really good deals to be found right here with Chesmar. So before we go check out our next home, I haven't really told you exactly where we are. I told you we're in Cypress, Texas, which is one of the most robust suburbs here in the Houston area. I mean, it has everything when it comes to commercial amenities, but Marvita specifically is gonna be located just on the east side of Highway 99, which is that toll road that wraps its way all the way around Houston. You're not too far from Katy from here. You're about 25 minutes but you've got all the shopping that you need about five minutes away from your doorstep here. And we're talking everything. You've got 
big box retailers, you've got your grocery stores like HEB, your home improvement stores like Home Depot, and then all of your smaller convenient amenities like your nail salons, hair salons, coffee shops. In fact, we just went and grabbed coffee at a really cool coffee shop we hadn't been to before. And then they're going to have a really cool movie grill up at the front of the neighborhood too. So if you wanna catch a movie with the family and then just walk back on home, you can actually do that right here in Marvita. And Cyprus is booming, it is exploding with growth, but there's only a handful of really highly curated master plan communities. The Marvita is going to be one of them. You're also very close to Highway 290, which is gonna be that major thoroughfare that's gonna shoot you in and out of Houston. So if you're doing any commuting into downtown for work or any other parts of the city, you're gonna have really great access to some major freeways here. So now that you know exactly where this is at, let's go check out our next home. Now we are working our way on up. We have just walked into MI Homes 50 foot model home and they're actually gonna build 40 foot and 60 foot products, but we wanna kinda work our way up through the prices and this 50 foot product is kinda that next step up from what we just saw. And what I really love about this home is it seems like it's gonna be a simple floor plan. It's a easy four bedroom, one story, but it's got a lot of pretty unique rooms. And so right as you come into the front of the house, you actually have a bedroom up at the front, but then you're met with this flex space. And this flex space could be used for a couple of things. You could use it as a home office, an extra sitting area. It almost reminds me of older homes. You, you really don't see this in a lot of newer homes where you have like a formal sitting area. This could also be used as a formal dining room if you wanted, but you'll see here in just a second that you actually have plenty of space with this informal dining room. So as we walk this way, you'll enter into the kitchen and this is where the home really starts to open up. You can notice it just got a lot brighter in here. And so you've got some nice upgrades in here. This home as it is right now is just around 2,300 square feet and it would come in in that 380 to $400,000 price point. I think you're getting a lot for the money. The kitchen's nice and spacious. You got plenty of room over here. You got your pantry cornered. Um, you've got some nice granite countertops, and then this is similar to what we see in a lot of the models. You've got the informal dining with the living room, but it really doesn't feel crammed at all. I mean, this is a lot of space. I'm not sure if it comes through on camera, but it's a pretty good size. Uh, you do have a nice covered back patio, which I always appreciate. Um, some homes in the lower price points aren't even gonna have a covered back patio. And if you look out that way, you'll notice there's actually a brick wall along the backside. So here in Marvita, it's one of the upgrades that I really like that the developer's done is they've actually added that. Now, this is a different floor plan, a different layout than a lot of the primary suites that we see. You've got the bay windows over here. You've got a full king size bed. You've got one of your closets kind of right over here off of th this portion of the bedroom. And then you actually have another off of the bedroom. A lot of times they're tucked in over here in the bathrooms, but that's not the case with this. Uh, simple bathroom, nothing crazy, dual vanity, but you've got this window giving you tons of natural light over the tub. You've got your shower right here, and then you've got your toilet. But as we head on up to these other bedrooms, this home has another really unique layout feature that I haven't seen in any of the other homes here. So as we walk down this hallway, we're kind of in this different wing of the home and it actually has this cool flex space over here as well. So this is the second secondary living space other than the main living room. So you've got a bedroom down this way and one down this way. And so if you are a family looking to have rooms for those kiddos, uh, this is probably where you're gonna put them. And what's nice is this isn't visible. This, this kind of flex area isn't visible from the main portion of the home. So if you wanted to have a kid's playroom with their toys kind of laying everywhere, uh, it's not gonna be an eyesore. You've got one of your bathrooms right behind you there. And then this is going to be your third bedroom uh, here in the home. And this is a, I mean, this is a great size bedroom. You've got a uh, closet here. It's not a walk-in, it's just a standard uh, bedroom closet. And then we actually have one more bedroom right up here at the front of the home. So as we get up to the entrance, you've got another full-size bathroom and then a spacious fourth bedroom with you got the front windows, you're up at the front of the house. There's only one of the bedrooms is up at the front. I know a lot of the moms don't want the kids right at the front of the house. This particular floor plan has the bedrooms a little further back for safety, and so it's gonna make them feel nice and safe here. Now, they've got floor plans ranging from about 1,700 square feet all the way up to 2,600 square feet, so you can get things in the high 300s going up into the mid 400,000s in this 50-foot MI product. The amenities in this neighborhood are nuts. When you say the word master plan community, you kind of expect that it's gonna have a pool or a gym, but all of the amenities are absolutely 
top notch. As you can see behind me, you've got this turf area and you've got multiple playgrounds for kids of all different ages. You've got them for the little ones, you've got some more adventurous ones for the big kids, and then you're gonna have a splash pad over here too. If you don't wanna get in the pool, but your kids wanna go get wet, the splash pad is the perfect thing for that. But if you also wanna cool off, you are going to have this resort style pool. It's got a volleyball court inside of the pool and it's completely encompassed by a lazy river that has a current. You can hop in your tube and just relax and it'll push you right on around. But it also has a water park in the pool. These things are so cool. My daughter loves going to pools that actually have a playset in the pool. And then they're gonna have their gym. So if you wanna get your fitness on, you're gonna have access to the gym as long as you are a resident of the neighborhood. And then over here, you actually have a community pavilion. They're gonna host community events up here. Part of living in a master plan community is for that community aspect. And the, the HOA is actually gonna put on neighborhood events for you throughout the year. Now, a couple other amenities that I wanna highlight that I personally would think would be cool to have in a neighborhood is they have tennis courts and pickleball courts, which is the new thing. And then they're also gonna have dog parks for you. And then all throughout the neighborhood, you've got trails that are gonna connect all of the homes to all of these convenient amenities. And they're gonna run alongside of these really beautiful lakes that they've built out here. And so there are so many different amenities, including a sand volleyball court, and the list goes on. And all of those are right here inside of the community. And one other amenity that a lot of people don't consider or talk about are actually gonna be these schools. I know I mentioned that it is zoned to A-rated schools, but Cypress Fairbanks ISD is where you're zoned to here. And these are some of the best schools in the Houston area. In fact, the high school that you're zoned to is actually bordering the neighborhood. So you can walk, you can ride your bike to those conveniently A-rated schools. So now that you know what an awesome community this is, we got more homes to show you. Now, this next builder that we're gonna be showing you is absolutely one of my favorites today. It's not the last home we're gonna see, but if I'm biased, I am gonna say this one's my favorite. Now, we are inside of Kehov, and Kehov is short for Cave Kehovnanian, and don't, don't worry, you don't have to spell the whole thing. I even struggle to pronounce it. Kehov is a really well-known builder here in the Houston area, and this home in particular, I absolutely love. Right as you walk in, you've got a front bedroom up there that we'll check out here in a second, but you're met with this home office before you open up into the living room. And this is a great place to get your work done. And it's also a great place if you're working on your laptop to go ahead and subscribe to our channel, tap that bell for notifications. That way you can be the first to know about everything going on right here in Houston, Texas. My name is Kyler Ferris and our team, we get calls, texts, and emails every single day from people just like you looking to move to Houston. So if that's you, don't be shy. Just give us a call, shoot us a text, send us a quick email. That way we can help you make a smooth move right here to Houston, Texas. So now that you know to do that, let's go check out my favorite part of the home. And as you enter, you're gonna notice that it opens up into these gorgeous cathedral ceilings. I mean, this is absolutely the staple of the home. This is the heart of the home. This is where everyone's gonna hang out. You see this really cool shiplap with the white beams, but it's really well staged, it's a really cool home. And so you've got your kind of farmhouse kitchen, you got your deep farmhouse sink over here. And I love that you've got an informal dining area in the middle of the home. You've got white quartz, and then once again, everything's got that black and white kind of farmhouse vibe. I don't know if you noticed, but you have the sliding barn doors over on the office to kind of match that black and white theme, and all of the fixtures, including the door handles, are all super cohesive. I love that they've got the faux wood tile. It looks like a blonde French oak, but it is, uh, it is tile, so it's super durable if you've got pets or kids. Um, and then as you come on back here, this is gonna be your first bedroom. This is your primary suite, and it is gorgeous. It gets tons of natural light. You can see the sun just beaming in. And once again, they've got kind of this bohemian chic vibe going on. I really love it. Um, you've got your closet back over here, and then uh, you've got a different style than a lot of these other model homes you're gonna see. You've got kind of the fun tile. You've got the freestanding. You can see it's not built in. It's like a freestanding uh, dual vanity. You got your tub over here big walk-in shower, and then you're gonna have just your little toilet right back over here. And this is just one of the five bedrooms. This is a five bedroom, four and a half bath home. It's 3,200 square feet. And they're gonna build starting around 1,900 square foot products, which are gonna be your three bedroom products. And then they're gonna go all the way up to this being their biggest five bedroom floor plan. You've got a massive back patio off of the living room. In fact, let me show you. This thing is oversized. I mean, this is huge. It's got plenty of space to come hang out, have a great time, and really just enjoy this outdoor area. 
Come back in here, I got something I wanna show you over here in the living room. So, it's not always cold here in Texas, but we're coming up on winter as we're filming this, and you do have this gorgeous cast stone fireplace, a really nice place, cozy place to gather when it actually is cold outside. And it's just all the little touch points in this home. I don't know if you can see it, but if you pan on over here, you've got this kind of circular window above the uh, the sink. I just, I actually haven't seen that in any other home. I think it's kind of, I, don't know, I just think it's really unique and really cool. So come on this way. We're gonna pass this office and I actually wanna show you that they have a second suite here on the first floor. So if you have any guests or in-laws that can't go up and down the stairs or just anybody in general that wants to stay with you, you're gonna be able to come in here. So you've got this bedroom up at the front of the house, but then right behind you over here, you're gonna be able to have your own bathroom. So let me let you in here. So it very much functions as a separate suite. You've got your bathroom, walk-in shower, and your closet there. All right, now, this is obviously a model home, so this wall, there would be a wall right here, but this is actually a three-car tandem garage. And if you don't know what a three-car tandem garage is, it's essentially two cars wide and then two cars deep on one of the sides. I've got one at my house, I love it. It gives you that extra room, potentially for a golf cart. Now, if you come down here, this would be your laundry room, um, and then this would actually be part of that three-car tandem garage. They've got this set up kind of as, not a design studio, but just to kind of show you some of your design options should you choose to build with this builder. Now, as we come upstairs, some more features that I like. Uh, I really like the handrails. I know that sounds silly, but they kind of go with the modern farmhouse thing. They're still bringing in that natural wood tones, but it's white, it's got that pop, it's got that light, airy feel to it. And if you look, this is a massive game room upstairs. I mean, this is huge. They have two full-size sofas, and it just feels normal, but that's not normal. Usually you can't fit two sofas in a living space without it feeling cramped. You got a cool little shuffleboard, shows you where you could mount a TV or you could do one over there. And then you're still getting windows. You're getting windows, getting in tons of natural light. Now there's three bedrooms up here on this second floor. So for a total of five bedrooms, and this one's got plenty of space. Now they've got a little twin bed here, but even if you had a king bed, it's gonna come out to about here and you're still gonna have plenty of space. Now this is its own suite too. So you've got a closet over there in the corner. Then if you pop your head in here, you've got a freestanding shower a vanity and a toilet. And then if you head on over to the other side of the upstairs, you're gonna have two separate bedrooms and then they're going to share one bathroom. Now, I don't think I told you the price of this home. So the base price of this home at 3,200 square feet is right around $460,000. But as you see it, it's got a lot of the bells and whistles. You could build this home exactly like you're seeing it for right around $550,000. So this is gonna be one of those other bedrooms up here that are gonna share that bathroom. Pretty decent size, and then I actually like that they did the slider closets. Gives you extra hanging space. Um, we actually haven't seen these in many homes recently, so I appreciate it. It's almost like a double-sized closet. You got your little hallway linen closet for your blankets, for your movie nights. Dual vanities, since these two are sharing. And then you come in here, you've got the slider doors on this closet too. And then this one's gonna have a queen-size bed, so this can kind of show you that you're still able to fit two full-size nightstands in here with the queen and really have plenty of space. So now you can see why this is absolutely one of my favorite builders and floor plans here in Marvita. Now we've actually just entered the gated section here in Marvita. They've got a couple different gated sections, but before we check out this higher end builder, I wanted to tell you about the tax rate. The tax rate here is 3.48, which is pretty standard for a master planned community. And over time, you're gonna see that tax rate come down as the community gets further along in its development. Now. Every single master plan community, no matter where it is in the Houston area, is going to have an HOA, a homeowners association, and it's not something to be scared of. In fact, that's what keeps the pride of ownership up in the neighborhood. It keeps everything looking good, the landscaping, and gives you access to all of those amazing amenities. And so the annual HOA assessment for this community is $1,030. And if you do live behind a gated section, there's gonna be an additional fee of $200 per year just because you're behind the gates. So let's go check out this last house. Last but not least, we are actually showing you a builder we haven't shown you before. We are showing you Hamilton Thomas, and they are a newer builder here in Houston, and I'm very impressed with what we're about to show you. We are on their 60-foot lots in the gated section, and the home that we're walking in right now has a really special secret feature that you're gonna have to stick around for, and we haven't seen this 
in any of the other communities that we've showed you so far. Now the home as it stands is a four bedroom and it's just over 3,300 square feet. And it's got a lot of more modern finishes and features right out of the bat. You're kind of met with the stairs, which we'll go up in a bit, but it's got the modern stair railing and then you've got the real wood floors in here. These are very nice. You've got huge open ceilings going all the way up to that second story with the more modern fixtures and chandeliers. But as soon as you spin around, you're immediately greeted with this very open downstairs living room. And this, this is huge. These are just first floor ceilings. You usually don't get ceilings this tall uh, in two-story homes on the first floor unless it opens up. And what I like is that the, the upstairs is completely separate from the downstairs here. So you've got your living room, you've got your rock fireplace going all the way up to the ceiling, and then you're gonna get tons of natural light. You've got floor to ceiling windows, I mean, these are probably 16 or 18 foot ceilings in here. And then you've got the little detail work. You can see that they've got the sheetrock rectangles up on the ceilings. And then if you swivel over this way, you've got gorgeous views of the backyard and a massive back patio. In fact, let's get you inside of that back patio. Let's check it out. There we go. So, Coming on out back here, you actually have the white painted brick. It's kind of an off-white, so it's a more modern uh, look, but it's also kind of classic and timeless. You got the cedar beams on these huge cathedral, uh, I guess cathedral ceilings here on the back patio. You also have the spray deck, which I appreciate. Anytime they do like a painted textured concrete, gives it a little finer look, touch, feel, an extra layer of dimension here on the back patio. Now come back on in. Hold on, Keith, get this. I have the same dining room table. This is my dining room table. It's from Living Spaces. It's a great dining room table. Acacia wood, highly recommend it. But anyways, this is a very, uh, this is a cool dining room table, actually. But I love the dining room over here. And then I don't think we've seen an island this big in a long time. And I actually can't even tell you what these countertops are. I haven't seen these. Um, they're like a matte finish, but you've got this two tier kitchen island and so you've got all of your normal island space but then this can really function as its own sitting and eating area over here and what I really like and this is a newer style we're starting to see a lot where they're bringing in the natural wood tones for the cabinets so you got the two tones you got the lowers and then you've got the white uppers you got your built-in gas cooktop huge farmhouse sink upgraded stainless appliances and then you've got very good sized pantry which seems to be something that everybody is after these days I hate when they put tiny pantries in big homes. Now, we'll head on this way. This is going to be your primary suite here on the first floor. As I mentioned, this is a four bedroom home with a little surprise up front. Quick touch point before we enter the primary suite. They got this little built in here. What's it for? Not quite sure, you can store some things in here. It's not a home office, obviously, but it's just extra little storage. And then really, I mean, huge, huge primary suite, king bed. Uh, you got the tray ceilings, so they kind of go up that extra foot, gives it more dimension, uh, windows to the backyard, and then really, really good sized bathroom. I mean, plenty of space, separated vanities. You got your freestanding tub here, and then massive walk-in shower. I mean, this thing is huge. And what's cool is you got the two, uh, I guess, faucets. You got them up top, and then like the waterfall, and then just the normal over here. And then really good sized primary closet and plenty of space for your clothes. And the upstairs here is really unique. When you get to the top of the stairs, you can either go left or right. And we're gonna go this way, and it's gonna open up into a game room. And what I like, and I know I said it downstairs, is I like that it's its own defined space. If you're gonna pay for a two-story home, I like when the two stories, the first and the second floor, aren't connected personally for noise, for the kids to have their extra space where it's really separated from that downstairs. It's not one big echo chamber. And not only do you have the game room here, which could be a cool media room, but then you also have an extra playroom. This is great for the younger kids. You got the glass doors, you can close it off, put their toys in, or if you've got older kids or it's just you, looks like they've got it set up as a cocktail bar. I mean, they have full built-ins over here. Uh, I'm sure you could probably have like a plumbed option if you wanted a sink up here. If you've got little kids, you probably don't wanna do that, but if they're older, maybe you do. Uh, and then this could be a really cool poker room. Another thing that I appreciate is that they actually have a half bath right here. So you're not just sharing one of the baths from the kids' rooms. You've got your own designated bathroom just for this upstairs living area. And then follow me because over here is where you're gonna have all three of your upstairs bedrooms. So we'll start over here and pop in here. Looks like they've got a cleaner full-size bed 
with a full-size dresser, great space. And then this is its own kind of ensuite. It's got its own bathroom over here. And then it's a little tight, but it's got a full walk-in closet over here. I don't know if you want to pop in or not. And then head on over this way. You can have your next bedroom, pop on in there, check it out. Um, it's still a pretty decent size. It's not quite as big as that first one. These are gonna share a bathroom and we'll pass through that here in a second. But what I think is pretty cool is it's kind of a Jack and Jill bathroom that connects over into the hallway. Now, this is a really good size room. In fact, if you check out over there, you've got like a little extra nook. They've got a chair in it, but a cool little reading nook, even room for a desk for those kids that actually study. You got a closet over here with a window. I would check that out. And then the bathroom is gonna completely connect all the way over to here. I'm putting Keith to work on this tour. And then now we're gonna head downstairs because I'm telling you, you haven't seen this before. Now we're back at the front of the house. This is the front door. You had your laundry room right over here and then you've got your downstairs half bath. But an option on this floor plan, instead of coming with a standard three car tandem garage, you can actually convert it into an in-law suite. And this isn't just a suite. This is what we call a next gen product. There's a couple builders here in the Houston area. In fact, I've got one closing here in a week. And these products are cool. If you've got in-laws or somebody that you want to stay with you, you've got their own living space. And so you've got this cool living room over here that's separated from the house. Some floor plans are actually gonna give you a separate entry instead of a window, a door that could go in and out. But if you come back into here, it really just provides them with their own living space. It feels like a second primary suite on the first floor with its own little living room. And then some builders around the Houston area are actually gonna offer little mini kitchenettes too, so they can truly live on their own while still being connected to you. This one doesn't feature that, but it does feature a really nice bathroom here. You've got your single vanity, you got your shelves for your towels, and you've got a great full-size walk-in shower that's fully tiled and a really good size closet. Now, with this builder, this is gonna be one of the larger products that are offered here in the neighborhood. It is 60 feet wide, and you're gonna have square footages on the smaller side around 2,600 square feet that start just under $500,000, and some of their larger products are gonna push that 4,000 square foot mark, and you're gonna see those going all the way up into the high 600,000s. Now, this home, as you see it, is gonna be in those low to mid 600,000s. They've got a couple different options depending on what you do with this configuration. But as you walk through the home, you will notice that this has got that higher level of fit and finish. And so if that's what you're looking for, you're gonna to wanna to check out Hamilton Thomas. The homes we've seen today give you a pretty good idea of exactly what's offered here in Marvita. But as I mentioned, there's over 10 different builders and there's gonna be something out here for everybody. But if you are looking for that master planned community in an amazing suburb, Cypress, Texas, with tons of convenient shopping with these A-rated schools right down the roads with all the amenities you could possibly ask for, you're gonna wanna check out this neighborhood. And if you wanna know more about moving here to Houston, Texas, check out our latest video. It's gonna tell you everything that you need to know. And as always, if you're thinking about moving here, do not be shy. Just give us a call, shoot us a text, send us a quick email. That way we can help you make a smooth move right here to Cypress, Texas.